neither separation nor living without God are remotely possible. November 1, 2015 Humanity's journey towards a collective awakening is moving perfectly along, just as divinely planned. The tsunami of love is irresistible, irrepressible, and utterly insistent. It is being heard, felt, embraced, and welcomed into millions of hearts all across the world. The mainstream media may appear to be getting ever more raucous as it continues in its attempts to instill fear with its stories on calamities and catastrophes, but in truth the tsunami of love is changing everything as more and more of you welcome it into your hearts and daily set the intention to be only loving, whatever may arise. You can only change yourself, as you well know, but because so many of you are now doing just that every day, the effects are miraculous. The power of love is infinite, but because you have free will, you can refuse to engage with it. Over the eons you have denied it, engaged with it, denied it, and engaged with it innumerable times, and finally, in this present age, you have collectively chosen to engage fully with it as you let go of the doubts and fears that have been endemic. There is now no way that you can backslide, the tipping point where that was still a possibility is long past. Only humanity's long-sought awakening is now possible because it is the only possibility. Anything else, any other apparent possibility is utterly illusory. And you are releasing your grip on the illusion because you have realized that you do not need it, that it is not serving you. Love is all that exists. God is the field of love, the field of divine energy in which all that he creates has its eternal existence, without break or interruption. There is nowhere else and there is absolutely no need for anywhere else because no one needs or could ever possibly need anything that he has not already provided. Separation, the illusion, was an attempt to live without God, and neither separation nor living without God are remotely possible. So all that is required of humanity, of all of God's children, is that they awaken from the dream or nightmare that has apparently caused them so much suffering, and that awakening is inevitable. Your beingness, your nature, what you are, is love, which is inextricably and eternally connected to your source. That truth alone is all that you need to know, remember, and focus upon. Doing so will bring you only joy. You were created to experience eternal joy, and that truly is the only experience available. Experiences other than that are unreal, illusory, and will pass away, dissolving without a trace as you awaken. Before you awaken fully into that state, you will move into a most amazing state of peace, happiness, and contentment, where you will find yourselves totally safe, totally unthreatened, and surrounded by innumerable loved ones with whom you will delight in reacquainting yourselves. There will be a celebration of life, of being, of existence, that at present you cannot possibly imagine, because it will be unlimited whereas your present state is severely limiting by your choice to be separate and limited. Within the illusion all is temporary, momentary, in no way at all is it lasting. Every pleasure that you experience there passes away quite rapidly, leaving you yearning for more. Suffering also passes quite rapidly, but, because of choices you have made, it can, when very intense, appear endless. And so you yearn, Every one of you truly yearns for a return to God and the joy of being one with Him, because the illusion, apart from being unreal, is so utterly unsatisfactory an environment for a child of God to inhabit. What God offers you in every moment cannot be spoken of meaningfully, its meaning has to be lived fully consciously and constantly. The illusion hides that state from you and presents you instead with something totally inadequate. The fact that it does that is useful because it disables any sense of lasting satisfaction in anything you do. Frequently you may imagine an event, an achievement, a meeting, or even a gift that could satisfy all your deepest longings, but when it occurs it never delivers the joy for which you had hoped, it is always lacking, and so you are forever seeking more. More is what God offers you. Unimaginably more. More that will satisfy you utterly and completely for all eternity. Deep within yourselves you know this, and so you keep looking, seeking, for the magic or miracle that will make your dreams come true. 
Well that constant seeking has brought you to this point in your awakening process, the point from which only motion towards is now possible. When you chose separation, your father, in his infinite love and wisdom, provided you with the return path home, an unbreakable connection to him, a faint memory that could never be lost, but only temporarily hidden under the thin veil that is the illusion. And that memory meant that you could never be satisfied while you remained asleep and dreaming the illusion. Always you have sought more than the illusion could provide, demanded more than the illusion could render, but due to confusion, for dreams are by their very nature confusing, you spent eons attempting to satisfy your desires from the enticements and enchantments that the illusion appeared to offer you, position, power, wealth, accolades, but all of them have failed you, miserably. And it is that constant dissatisfaction or failure to achieve fully what your hearts desired that caused you finally to turn within. That turning within is indeed a triumph, because it has shown you that all that you seek, all that you could ever desire can only be found within you. Yes, many of you have intense doubts about that, but outside of yourselves there is no hope because that is the illusion. Reality is within you. It does need persistence and resilience on your part to remove the veil that hides it from you, but you have all had moments when you have sensed it, and you will not now cease your search until you arrive home. Your arrival, therefore, is your divine destiny, it can be delayed, but it cannot be avoided, so rejoice in the knowledge that your salvation, your return home to unconditional love and acceptance, is a divine promise that will be honored, because God's promises are always honored. Let go of any remaining ideas of doubt and fear that are attempting to persuade you to resist love, suggesting to you that in this insane world, love cannot work. Those ideas are the insanity, only love works, and you do know that. Your loving brother, Jesus. Channeled by John Smallman. John Smallman 2.wordpress.com